So hi everybody and welcome back. This is a C++ tutorial series for absolute beginners. This is video 77 and we continue with our exercise. We stopped here with our comparison about the username and the account name database which we created here. And the problem was I solved this with a if statement, with a else if statement and so on. And uh, the problem is that is actually not a good solution. Why is this not a good solution? An array. When you see an array and you compare or do something with an array and want to go through all elements, it is all time a good candidate to use a loop. But we learned also that uh, there are different kind of loops. For example, we learned the for loop, the while loop and the do while loop. So which loop we can use? Actually, we can use what we want. And I start with the uh, let's start here with the for loop and let's change what we have here in a for loop. But um, when I think about this, yes, let's change it because it's double work, uh, but it's worth it, I think. So how we can now change the code, what we have here already written in a for loop. All right, so let's make a better solution here we start with a for loop and we know we need here our um, <clears throat> free com uh, free conditions to first of all we need a start uh, variable in my case it's a int i and the default value is zero so i won't start with zero and why i'm using all time here zero the reason for that is an array starts all time with the slot zero that's why this start point zero is nice because this uh, start point you can choose uh, what you like actually but if you have an array then start with zero because this i variable we will use here and here one more note why is this variable i here short this is the only place where it makes sense to have a short variable and the reason for that is this i is absolutely clear that it belongs to the for loop and it's a counter this is there is no discussion so it is clear from start so let's continue what we need else the second thing what we need is um uh the end uh let's say we start with zero and how often we want loop the end place for example like that and in our case okay we have here four elements it's very easy we write just e less than uh, four and that's it and then we make one more thing an increment and we learned also this short increment this plus plus i this is this increment uh, operator and here one more question why we used here four uh, less four and not equal four because we started here with zero right so and let's continue our for loop has all time also a body and a body is represented here with this curly brackets and it's a scope for the for loop all right we have we are almost there and now the question is how we can compare this one now here we all right said uh, this one found and then we have um, find also a way for the else statement so let's say just easy we just take a username username here and then we say again the same thing here actually we can just copy this one it's very easy but we have to change here something so i just copied this line here <clears throat> and here we have to do two more things because this line here makes so no sense why not this is just a comparison right but if you hear call comparison then <clears throat> you must uh, think immediately about an if statement because compare and if belongs anyhow together so we write here for example if condition this one and you see what i'm going to do is exactly the same thing here which means i can just copy this if statement here what i have here in my for loop so that's absolute nice but here we have a problem and the problem here is the zero right 
because now I have to find a way to count all elements and that's why we use a for loop actually because this variable name i is a candidate to replace the slot name and that's why we started with zero and you can see now every loop it will go here it will co compare our username with the account name i if it's if mm, the loop is finding um, the username we say found which we will replace later if not um, we have to cover one more step which is this else step right so how we are going to do this and we can say for example after the loop that uh, let's see else if username account uh, name database we can say is found else it's not found but we are not uh, printing out else here uh, we are just going to the next loop let's see what we are doing here we go to the next loop if it's found and after it goes out of the loop we say not found so what we are we what we can do is when we go out of the loop and go to the next line we can just say not found because if uh, the states finds here we can say found and if not not found so what we can do is to check this ill statement in my case it is again one solution not perhaps the best i pack this one again in our if statement i don't know if this makes sense but i say username found uh yes for example i say uh we make it other way not this with if it's not working uh, we can say here if username account database e and now we need a check variable that we found something and that's why we need here change here a little bit uh something and this is also not the best solution what I'm going to do, but it is an intermediate solution. What I mean with that, this one uh, needs to develop. But my goal is here just to create a check variable. And a check variable is all time a bool variable. A bool means yes or no. And then I can say here, instead of STDC out found, I can keep this, but I can here save, for example, this bool variable to say yes i found it and bool says yes found let me show you what i mean the uh, talking is too much sometimes it's easy so first of all i create a check variable which says if i found it or not and i create it this time again on the top here because it is outside of this for loop so and i write it here perhaps but the check variable is a bool which means i start with bool and the name is found uh username for example username it must be very descriptive and the default value is false because at start i have not found it so found username makes sense <clears throat> and at start we set uh, this to false because only if we find it then we set it and the only place we can set it it's here when the username and this account name database is equal right so let's write it here username uh, stdf found found username and here we can set it e setting i make an assignment operator and because this is now here in the scope of int main and this one is here a repetition about let's set this first and then let me uh, explain the scope a little bit again uh, found username i set here to true because now i found it and what we can do here one more thing but let me explain this found username first is the scope uh, when we watch this scope here the scope of the variable is here outside and i told you you can go with from the scope from here to the outside and it will access the scope in the outer scope but it will not access scope 
uh, which goes to the inside for example what i mean with that if we have here one more scope let's say this one we can make something like this one uh, this one is called just make a local scope in c++ without any naming and if i write now something here and if i try to access from this scope this scope here i can't do this because i can only get access variables to the outer scope don't forget this one this i sh hope you remember this one but let's continue with our task and here we have this found username right we can break out of this loop we learned there a keyword what was this keyword again what we learned you probably know it it is break normally we would use this break for example in a switch statement but this break works also for our for loop it will continue to do to this point and after this point if it's found something it will stop because we set our variable and we have that what we wanted to know our username is entered and it is in our database we can continue with the next check we don't need to check all other numbers here for example in this case okay for values is not much but think about it we have let's say 1 million elements and you won't not go on after you found it let's say on the thousands element you found it and then you don't want to check the other 900,000 elements also after because this is just wasting time and capacity for the, also for the <laughs> program uh, yeah and that's why we are using this break right we go out of this loop so and with that said we have not covered one's case what is if this is not finding our um our username because this is only the case where we find it what but what happens if we don't find it and this one we can we have covered this case actually indirectly here how i use this new bool uh, variable this bool variable will be set to true or it will keep false and with this information i know um, later in the next uh, uh, check if i can go on or not after this for loop is finished so this was actually this is actually enough in my case and uh, what i'm doing now is i have to check this because perhaps i'm talking crap and or i have a logical mistake in my thinking and that's why i get not rid of this one i press your control comment and see what happens if i test it so far so let's see what happens first of all let's test it with a name which works i have your coder the password <laughs> one two three four five and here i have again a little bit style problem but it's okay i have six my super password and it says found which means okay it works this found works but does it work also with false let's check the other case here fast too i write here uh anything uh, let's write here really uh, really letters and then let's write here also anything and we it says here nothing we have because we have not printed out something one more thing let's change this password style here a little bit i don't know why it makes so but it's okay yeah now it works anyhow it's okay all right so this kind of code works that's perfect and this kind of code was more uh, uh i wanted to repeat a little bit if statements else if statements and all this kind of stuff but right now i find a better solution and when we compare this one now to this one this one is straightforward but not good because if we have many elements we will not work with this one and that's why because it was just for repetition a little bit i get rid of this because just use that what you really need later and this is for us perfect enough it's okay that's enough
and you see the code is l now really little compared to before because that's the beauty about a loop you can just uh, let the loop do the job and you write only little code here so let's continue a little bit it says here if success uh, note the slot number oh we need the slot number here so which means i have to create another variable because all the time when you hear anything like node or something like that think all the time about saving this in a variable and i need the slot number which means i need this i and i have to save this i in a slot number uh, we can create this variable but here the i is a integer let's use an integer so i go here on top again and again in int main still local to int main and i write here on top another variable name this time integer and then and here again important very good variable name because we have later database uh, names and that's what database and perhaps we need this slot number two could happen right so let's write here slot uh, database names slot for names database slot for database name i write names that's a, anything like that that it makes sense slot for database names Perhaps this one is also not perfect, this variable name, because it makes not that much sense. And when you can't find, like me, a good name, <laughs> then you can add here a comment uh, additionally to make it clear later. But in my case, let me continue here. And I write just a default value is zero. And OK, I created now this value, plot for database names. But this one, I'm not happy with that, because here is the place where you should write again a comment because all other names make anyhow sense but here it makes no sense for me not really and i say here a comment behind this and i say something like need need slot for later comparison need slot and then that four uh, off of course that is also off of database names all right and yeah something like that make try to make it so clear as possible as you can and if you it's not clear doesn't matter we train that's why we are here and you see i have made here a crap name too actually <laughs> but it will work <laughs> that's it and if not we change it later and we make it work and let's continue okay i have now if succeeded note the slot name but here we just created a variable of course we need on success and this is the case where it's on success i will write note this name that's very easy we write now the variable name which we have here it is here this let's copy this slot of database names I copy this one and what I'm doing is here very easy I assign this I because this I is the slot of this account names database so that's it and now I have the slot too so I have this done I can go to the next one if fail print out name not exist so this fail was actually uh, if we don't find here so which means uh, we have to use now this bool found username if we find something it will print true if we find nothing then it will uh, then we have to print out this uh, print uh, out name not exist but important is here again we make a if check and this kind of time it's a real if check because we check only one value so i write here if found username is not equals found found username this one is not equal and this not equal operator we learned as well this one but we learned also there is an alternative which is not generally use we could write something not equal i'm not sure but here it pops up already this one isn't and not equal not this one 
equal. Actually, I have to write here an underscore operator. This is an alternative for not equal, but uh, just to know that this exists, but in general, in programming, uh, they all write the short form this uh, exclamation mark with the assignment operator. But we have to know that other ways exist as well as, a re as we repeat. So we have now found this out and not equal to what? To our, uh, let's say, found username is not equal to true. Yes, because only if this is equal to false, if this is not equal to true, or, or I mean, that's not, that's, oops, <laughs> sorry, this is wrong. <laughs> I have to write the found username must be not equal to false in this case. All you write is equal, to make it easier, you can just write the other uh, operator, for example, equal false makes it even easier. If found username is equal to false, then you just print out. Let me print this out. Um, yes, that's what it says here. Name not exist. Okay, write it. STD, see out. Uh, and I write something like. Okay, let's make here a new line. This is all time nice. Uh, let's make two new lines. And then let's make a little bit space again. We should take this space from here. Actually, I should just copy this one. So I have not this space problem. And I replace this one here with this one. Because now I should uh, format thing this again, but now it's formatted. And here I can make away and put two new lines here so now and here i have copied again a code and if you copy something change all time important parts and in my case i change this one to uh, something like name uh, does not exist does uh, not exist something like that and that's enough and then and important here something important very important this if call is after the for loop why that because here we check this and if you have this if statement called before that it will not work so you see the ordering must uh, should make sense so there is a flow in programming which means this comes first after this one it will be set and then useful or you would use just the default value and it will print out all time a wrong output and you don't want that so i think this should work again let's test this we added so many things and when we add too many things we test let's see here let's make a false uh name let's say here something like that something like that and here say name does not exist ah very good should not exist what i type there i save there and you see it works till now so we are good to go we are really good to go we made it so far and i think i make again a pause here and i hope you made a better solution than me because there are many ways to do this. Like I said, this is just a for loop. Of course, you could make something like this with a while loop. This is a if statement. Of course, we could use also this one before, which I deleted here with a switch at start because it's so less, right? But like I said, if you see a array, think all time about a loop uh, because if you have to go through all elements, it can be very hard with uh, if, but if you see it's only some values, okay, then you can say no, not really. So with that said, I stop this video here and like all time, if you have any questions, ask in the comments. If you have complaints, write it in the comments. And with that said, see you in the next video and bye for now and good luck, of course.